who's ready for activity number three. This one is a short story. It's a short selection. And this one is called Thunder Snow. And it is a informational text. I'm going to write that big word right here. In for text. Ooh, long word. Informational text. And this is an informational text because it is giving us real information. Esta selección es informativo porque nos va a dar mucha información. It's going to give us a lot of facts. And it's going to be about something called a thunder snow. I don't think I've ever heard of a thunder snow. Let's read and see what this is about. You know what thunder is. And you know what snow is. Did you know there is such a thing as thunder snow? Hmm. Thunder snow is a mix of snow, thunder, and lightning. Wow! So with, this is when it's snowing, but at the same time, boys and girls, there's thunder and there's lightning. So a thunder snow. It is caused by cold air sitting on top of warm air that is close to the ground. So think, think about that. Let me try to draw a picture. You want me to try to draw a picture? Hopefully it doesn't look too silly. So it says, this is caused by cold air. So let's do some cold air. And I'm going to put the word cold. This is caused by cold air is sitting on top of warm air. So here's my warm air. Remember, warm is cálido. No está caliente y no está frío. Está en medio. It's not too hot or too cold. So when there's cold air sitting on top of warm air, that's when we get a thunder snow. Let's keep reading up here. The cold air causes it to snow. And the warm air causes the thunder and lightning. Oh, so the cold air causes the snow. Here's my snow. Does that look like snow? And the warm air causes the lightning and the thunder. I don't know how to I don't know how to draw thunder, but there's a lightning. Let's keep going. Because this does not happen very often. So no pasa seguido. People write about it. Does thunder snow happen where you live? Do we get thunder snow here, boys and girls? No. Do you remember that storm we had a couple of weeks ago? Tuvimos una tormenta hace eh, unas pocas semanas cuando cayó granizo. When hail came down, hielo cayó del cielo. That's hail. It's called hail. Son, son bolas de hielo. They're, they're balls of, of ice. That is not snow. That's called hail. That's ice. Okay? So what happened that day, it rained. There was lightning. There was thunder. But it was hail that fell. This one is thunder snow. Okay? So we don't get snow here. So we've never, I don't think we've had thunder snow where we live. And then it's asking you, would you like to see thunder snow? I think that would be pretty cool to see, right? Okay, so let's read this part again so we can get all that cool information. It says, thunder snow is a mix of snow, thunder, and lightning. It is called, caused by cold air sitting on top of warm air that is close to the ground. Oh, I forgot to draw my ground. That's important information, don't you think? So here's my ground. So it's close to the ground. Esto está pasando cerca del suelo, de la tierra. The cold air causes it to snow, 
and the warm air causes the thunder and lightning. Because this does not happen very often, people write about it. Does thunder snow happen where you live? Would you like to see thunder snow? Okay, now let's look at our questions. I'm going to change the color of my pen. Okay, there we go. Question number one, make sure you are on activity number three. It says, how do you know this selection is an informational text? ¿Cómo sabemos que esta selección es informativo? How do we know it's informational? Remember, there's a big clue in the word informational. We get what? Information. So how do we know? Is it A? The author gives his opinion about snow. El autor nos da su opinión sobre la nieve. An opinion means something like que tú crees. An opinion is something that you believe. It's not always right. Is it B? The author tells how thunder snow is formed. El autor nos dice cómo thunder snow, no sé cómo sea la palabra para eso en español. The author tells how thunder snow is formed. El autor nos dice cómo thunder snow es formado. Okay. Or C, the author gives reasons to play in the snow. El autor nos da razones por cual jugar en la nieve. Hmm. Did the author talk about playing in the snow? Hmm. Look at number two. What sentence from the selection gives details about how thunder snow forms? So which one of these, A, B, or C, uh, tells us how it forms? ¿Cómo se forma el thunder snow? El thunder snow. I almost said it again. Thunder snow. snow. And, and how it is made. How is the thunder snow made? Or how does thunder snow happen? Which of these sentences tells us that? A, you know what thunder is. B, Thunder snow is a mix of snow, thunder, and lightning. C. It is caused by cold air sitting on top of warm air that is close to the ground. Aquí el detalle es que tienen que encontrar la que nos explica cómo se forma thunder snow. The, the thing that you need to find here, boys and girls, is which one of these tells us how thunder snow happens. ¿A cuál nos explica eso? Number three. What happens after the cold air makes it snow during thunder snow? ¿Qué pasa después que el aire frío forma la nieve durante un thunder snow? A. The snow stays on roads. Did we read that in the story? La nieve se queda en las calles. B. Warm air makes thunder and lightning. El viento cálido hace que truene y que um, tengamos relámpagos. Or C. Thunder snow happens all around the world. Thunder, thunder snow sucede en todo el mundo. So which one is true? Which one did we read? And number four. Write a detail that tells one effect of cold air on the weather. So if we go back to the story or to our picture, what is an effect of cold? What happens if we have cold wind or cold air? What do we get? ¿Qué es lo que sucede o qué, qué causa el, el viento frío? ¿Qué está causando? And that is activity number three. In the next um, video, I'll be going over math. Okay, boys and girls? This week, this is the week where you have these long three stories, okay? But you can do it. I know you're smart and your brain is super powerful. So I'll see you in the next video for math, okay?